Hello everyone, welcome to Map Dragon Railways and today we find out if the Hornby six-wheeler is any good. So I'm sure you are all aware of Hattons and they, a couple of years ago or so, announced that they were going to release their Project Genesis coaches which were four and six wheel coaches. All different liveries for about £36, you could get them with lights as well and uh, for about £30 without if you preferred that option. So yeah, Hatton's announced these coaches and they've been sharing it with us and all the project as they go along on social media. So it was quite good. Then January 2021 hit and Hornby announced these. They're four and six wheel coaches. Now people reckon that uh, Hornby were rushing to it a bit like how they rushed the Terrier, but they claim that they have been doing this project for about two years before anyway, so around the same time as Hatton's. So anyway, they released these, and I think everyone was aware these would be less detailed, but they were out the shelves quicker. As, uh, as of filming, Hatton's Genesis coaches are still in production and still being all sampled and everything. They haven't actually been released to the public just some samples sent off to other YouTubers. So anyway, these four wheel coaches come about and my friend picked a few up from the East Somerset model shop and uh, he has kindly lent me this one so I could run it with like my Terrier and Bluebell. So yeah, so I've got the opportunity to review them and I'm going to right now. So without further ado, let's get on to it and look at the detail. So let's look at the detail. Now, uh, as I said, it won't be as detailed as Hatton's Genesis ones will be. So keep that in mind if you are considering getting some four or six wheel coaches. So also to quickly note, this uh, coach has been weathered by my friend since ownership and the separately fitted parts have been fitted. But I know which ones are which from other reviews, so I will point them out to you anyway. Also, this coach is roughly based on the four and six wheel coaches, basically, because uh, it would be very uneconomical for Hornby to recreate every single different type of coach or certain type in a range, because, uh, like I say, it'd be very uneconomical for them. But anyway, onto the roof. So we've got nicely detailed uh, vents on the top. This roof has been weathered and the guttering is finely moulded. And there is a little handrail up here, which is actually really nicely uh, applied. Then you've got on the back, you've got some nice windows where it puffs out at the back for the guards compartment. 966 and some metal buffers, which have been done up in a rust by my friend. And then you've got separately fitted vacuum pipes and a coupling, which is hard to see. And talking of couplings, we've got some nice NEM ones, which are excellent. I'm going to take you to the underframe and you've got some nice springs and axle boxes and a dynamo, etc. You've got Hornby made in China as normal. And then I'm going to show you the uh, Hornby's method of trying to prevent derailments. So we'll see what that's like down on the layout. But uh, as you may know, the, the, the centre wheel may be a bit of a derailing hazard. So Hornby come up with this. The middle wheel set has got a lot of play in it so it can get around those curves. I can say that it can make things a little bit more awkward when hand putting this stuff on the track. The other ones don't move as much, but they have the same mechanism. And this is to note that this is for the six wheel variant only from as far as I know. Footboards have been fitted. That was in the detail pack, which they uh, should apparently just slot in, but my friend's already done that. And then we we'll go on to the best bit of this southern coach, which is just the coach detail, the bodywork itself. And I'm going to show you the lining because I think it's immaculate. I think it's just fantastic how they've done it. It's very bold and uh, it does help bring out the coach quite a lot. You've got the number 3750. You've got garden luggage and third and southern on the top. And the coach number again, which is just really nicely printed on the side. You've even got some wooden paint colour around the opening windows as it would be on the real thing. And that really does help bring out the model even more, which is, uh, you know, something you may not have thought of, you know, if you were doing it yourself. You've also got the smoking and non-smoking stickers in the window. And those have been printed on 
really nicely and they are legible you may be able to pick them out just about you've also got separately fitted handles which are really nice it's a very nice touch and they're picked up in a nice gold paint which is rather nice as you may catch the underframe does have some rivet detail so uh, if you catch that yeah that's there i will point it out so uh, you've also got an interior which you may only just be able to catch and it's all painted up in red which is nice and then in the guards compartment, you've got a handbrake, which is very nice. It's a very good touch for this model. Now, I want to point out this one is the non-lit variant. So, yeah, you take that as you will. It, they uh, do sell them with lighting as the uh, same way as Hattons are doing the lighting thing. But Hornby have this uh, amazing system I can't show you, sadly, called the Maglite. Now, you've probably already heard of it if you're watching this. But uh, it's just a magnet you hover over and it uh, activates a reed switch and turns on the lights and it runs off a little battery, you know, one of those like flat disc ones. And they claim for it to run for, a, I can't remember the exact time, but it was a while. And uh, yeah, so it's it's all right. Um, if you're doing some hours of running, you know, if you've done it every day, you might want to change over the batteries. But... Hornby have claimed that it's really easy to do. I'm not going to attempt because, uh, you know, uh, this isn't my own coach. But they reckon you can get your fingernails under and just pop the body off and you can get into there. And they're also selling their mag -like kit separately. So if you end up buying the non-lit ones and then decide you want lit ones, then you can fit them. But of course, it works out cheaper without. If I personally bought one, which I uh, think I will do, I uh, will get the lit up ones because looking at this coach, I can see why people would want it all lit up. I also forgot to note that the wheels have, uh, you know, brand new style wheels where they're all covered over, you know, all the spokes and that, what you'd normally see on a wheel. So, yeah, those are brand new, which is a very good idea. And the brake shoes are on there in the true Hornby fashion of being in front of the wheel, which I guess there must be a reason why they can't put it on the side. Maybe they think if that detail gets caught or broken, they don't want it rubbing on the wheel or somewhere, or there's just some reason why. But I'm not going to get into that in detail. The coach also has nice lamp irons too, and uh, these uh, moulded lines down the side, which is good. And uh, there's no paint bleed at all on anywhere that I can see, which is rather nice. So yeah, it's uh, overall a very nice coach. So I'm going to take it down onto the Roger Bay and I'm going to push test it for you and uh, we'll see how it is and uh, see how much of a good runner it is in general and I'll hook it behind a locomotive to uh, pull the entire train. So yeah, down to the layout. So she's down on the Roger Bay and I, uh, yes, I done a free rolling test and she's not free rolling whatsoever. And I must point out every time I review a piece of rolling stock that isn't fresh out the box, I will clean the wheels and oil the parts very lightly. Um, so I help give the model a chance and uh, so I don't ruin the whole rolling test for the sake of some dirty wheels causing some extra friction, etc. Well, anyway, I've done that to this model and she isn't free reeling whatsoever. She just stops almost straight away. It's like there's some great friction acting on those wheels. And uh, yeah, I, I'm wondering if it's this uh, new sliding mechanism that's uh, slowing it right down. I don't know. But yeah, it's not free wheeling whatsoever. So anyway, I'm going to test the coupling heights with uh, my P-Class Bluebell, who's uh, going to be running today. So I'm just turning up the controller on Bluebell. She just all steadily does it. Bear in mind this is a Hatton's Loco and yeah, it's uh, coupled up perfectly fine. So yeah, that coupled up perfectly fine and it's time to set it off and show you some shots and give you my opinion slash verdict on this model. I'm going to tell you it is fairly positive. Right, let's set her off. There we go. That speed will do it. Yeah, right, on to some clips. So 
So I'm going to test this coach over my points on the Roger Bay to see if she does derail at all and see if that sliding mechanism does actually help prevent derailments, at least over points. So let's uh, push Bluebell over. She's going the wrong way. And I'm going to put her near to speed. And I think she went over that perfectly fine. So I'm going to test her on the way back and we shall see how that goes. So off we go the other way. And uh, of course Bluebell will stop there due to the electro electric. And the coach stayed on the rails, which is perfect. So this uh, train does not derail. So uh, over the points at least on that attempt. So yeah, let's just set her off and run her again. And then I'm going to go on to yet another experiment. So the uh, engine's done uh, f quite a few laps on the layout and no derailments up with the coach. And as I said, I'd do another experiment. So the P-Class by Hatton's come with screw link couplings. So I'm testing out the coupling hook on the coach and yes, it worked. Ignore the NEM uh, coupling, I would normally remove it, but seeing as it's a friend's, uh, I don't really want to faff about pulling bits off it, you know. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to see how she runs with the coupling. She might derail a bit because of the uh, NEM coupling still attached, but we shall see. And off she goes. Yeah, not the smoothest set off, but I'm not that fussed. <laughs> So yeah, off she goes. So now I'm trying her with a small rake of coaches after the uh, three link coupling was a uh, actual success. So. That's a good thing if you're a very realistic modeler and you'd like to uh, basically recreate the uh, three-hand coupling more prototypically. And uh, yeah, even though I'm talking about accuracy, just ignore the uh, dap old tanker wagon that's unpainted. <laughs> that needs painting soon. But yeah, there she is with a few little wagons in a, well, non-prototypical train, of course, but... I'm not that fast. <laughs> I run what I like. So yeah, I need to paint that dapple tanker soon. I only built it yesterday filming. So what's my verdict on the Hornby Six Well coach? Well, just lovely. It's a very nice coach. The uh, inside is very nicely done with nice seats and a nice separately fitted handbrake. You've got the livery application, which is exquisite. You've got that brown around the windows and all the lining and all the print work. You're, you know, there's no smoking and all that. That is uh, all legible and it's done to a high standard. Metal buffers. Then brand new metal wheels that have been engineered just for the coach, which I think is a great idea. And that, most importantly, the pivoting mechanism for the wheels, so we have less derailments because of the six-wheel configuration. If it was me, I might have put axles on the front and the back wheels, but they uh, decided to do the whole thing. You never know. That might have still caused derailments, so uh, I'm just going to leave it to the experts. So yeah, in general, a very nice coach, no flashing as to expect from Hornby, and uh, in general, a nice coach. The coupling heights are correct, and uh, of course it worked with a chain link, which is a bonus to uh, you more prototypical people than me. 
Um, I just like using the coupling on Bluebell. Negatives, well, there's quite a lot of friction. There's got to be for it to be uh, as free rolling as it is. It's very bad at rolling. And considering Hornby designed their mag light system to prevent friction, so uh, locomotives of the smaller kind, which are more prototypical to running with these coaches, would be able to pull more without any drag. It just seems to not make sense, doesn't make sense at all. The, the whole point of removing friction, but then seem to add a lot of friction. And I'm wondering if it is this mechanism that's, you know, putting weight on the wheels and uh, causing this. I may be wrong on that, but there is something causing a lot of friction in this coach. So if you want to run a fairly long train with a small loco, you may notice a slight difference. The um, four wheelers are probably different as they have been said to have the pinpoint axles. I may have to have a look at them myself and have a verdict from that. But in general, it is a nice coach and for around the £30 mark, I'd say that's okay. I would pay less personally. But you know of COVID and everything else that's gone on with inflation and that. This might be all right. I guess it is a good coach and it will last you some time. Um, some decent time as well going around the layout. So £30 is okay, I'd say. I wouldn't want to pay a lot more. I'm expecting more from Hattons. And I want to see how Hattons come out with their light system and everything. But... um. Yeah, I, I think Hattons will be more detailed for your money, and I think a lot of people have said that anyway, so I'm not going to ramble on about that. But I do think that this coach is rather nice to have on anyone's layout, and I think Hattons and Hornby, their coaches are going to like come, go together and be quite successful, and they're going to complement each other. But yeah, that drag does not make sense to me. But I do like the mag light for one reason and that is the fact that you could have your coach stopped at a station and the lights stay on compared to ones with pickups on DC you turn the controller off you lose all your lights and it just ruins the illusion a little bit but anyway in general I can recommend these coaches I might say about waiting for Hattons to come in but I still quite like these coaches and I will eventually get some of my own so the complete verdict is they have some negatives that drag it may only be my model I've got well my friend's model but in general they are very nice and uh, beautiful coaches and I can recommend them I can definitely recommend these models so anyway, thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, leave a like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends. What do you think of a Hornby Six Wheel Coach? Are you going to get one or have you got one? Is there any problems with yours you've got or is yours completely fine and seems all right like mine? So, yep, yeah, thanks for watching and I shall see you all next time. Goodbye.